Hi, I'm Anthony from Learning to Play the Guitar. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the Midnight Oil song Cold Cold Change from their 1979 album Head Injuries. Early Midnight Oil were a much harder sounding band and this song features the guitar attack of Martin Rotzi and Jim Magini. So in this video, I'll show you both guitar parts plus some of the bass parts as well. So the riff is based around the double seven on the GB strings, the double seven on the GD strings, the double nine on the AD strings, and the double seven on the AD strings. Plus there's a little power chord on fret seven and fret nine on the middle two strings at the end here. So I'm going to combine that all together to play this. So that's the first half of the riff. The second half starts the same way. Up to the double sevens in the middle. Then we're going to do this little GCD type of exercise here, or pattern, I suppose. Uh, fret three and four on the GB strings. G related, double five, C related. And the other pair is the double seven on the GBs again, hinting sort of at a D chord. So we're going to have Here it is again. And that whole thing goes around twice. Getting out of that we have the big slide into the second riff, E minor related. Little slide on the four, slide on the five, so F sharps and G notes there. Again. So at the start of the song there's a riff and under that riff there is a rhythm guitar part playing something slightly different. This rhythm guitar plays the following chords, B or B5 power chord, an A power chord and a little sort of a two string version of a D power chord. So I'll just run through what's happening here, there's some other stuff as well, but here we go. Three, four. Second half starts the same thing with this B power chord thing times two again, I suppose. Then there's this little melody part. This is like a harmony part that goes under the melody on top. So the harmony part, which is a lower harmony part, we've got a 2-0 GB sort of thing in thirds. C and an E, which is 2 and 3. And the other notes we have to worry about are a 5 and a 4. So combined together, these little chords or dyads, two note chords, sound like... And so then after that whole thing goes around twice, we have a little slide and into riff two based around E. So we've got zero, three, two, three, two, four. There's a little slide on that. Zero, three, two, three, two, five. I'm going to slide and same thing again. That 
except it's obviously also played by the other guitar, so it's doubled. half of the verse is just a bass guitar part which I'll sort of show here so that's fairly simple hopefully you can obviously play it on guitar if you like but the guitar part that comes in the second half of the verse is based around the same sort of chord. So it's based around F-sharp minor or the F-sharp power chord, little variations of that. It's a little bit fancy and fiddly, um, but we're gonna have our first finger on the number four F-sharp, and I'm gonna have a six, seven here, plus a six, five here. My little finger will come on and off. It's based 90% around that. And what's happening here is we're chugging, palm muting the F-sharp four note on the D string, and we're gonna be doing these little accents with these pairs or dyad two note chords here on six and seven and the six and the five and there's probably a little bit of delay on this guitar as well so it makes it sound busier than it might necessarily be to your ears so here it is nice and slow <laughs> that's the first bit second bit starts similarly but we're going to start on two f sharp fours damn this is the last two bars here uh, we're going to change to the five sixes and we're also going to slide my first finger up to a g it does get a little bit mushy here it's hard to tell whether there's an extra guitar here um, or the bass is doing something a bit more prominent but this is what i've interpreted from what I can hear so as one guitar part anyway, so here we go. So there's that little weird thing. Then we're in to the second half, which is very similar to the other rhythm guitar part, uh, well, but we will run through it anyway because there are a couple of little changes. So we've got the A, B power chord, F sharp, A, B, B, the riff, sharp and then we've got this D thing so here again it's a little bit hard to hear what's going on one guitar is definitely just chugging on the D power chord this guitar there's a little accent on this fret 7 D note and so to make that clear I've decided to go like that little octave thing there then the chuggingness goes back to an F sharp power chord on one guitar and this little octave little half of higher power chord thing happens here so I'm going to play it this way and the riff there on the end So the next time this guitar reappears, it's sort of halfway through the song, part two of the verse, or a pre-chorus, post-chorus, but it is this bit anyway. Uh, and so what have I got? We're going into five, seven slide, an A and a B into this riff, which is an A power chord, B power chord, E string, and then we've got an F sharp power chord with my first finger coming on and off. Back to ABB again. And then there's a little 
C sharp minor, natural minor riff here, which is four four six four seven six four seven. Just a little slide. We do it again, second half. A B B. Now we're going to go B C sharp. All power chords again. Then we're chugging on a D for a bar, a D power chord at fret 5. And then this little break here where we go back to F sharp on fret 2 power chord again. Three bars of 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 3 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1. There's sort of a bit of a light palm muni thing happening there but it's not too prominent. Then we have the riff again with a slight variation, starting with the number two F sharp. It's a little bit hard to tell what happens here, but I'll throw that in. And then that C sharp natural minor riff again, which will then take you back to another verse. So, into the weird bridgey bit, one guitar is just strumming through chords, this one maybe does play the chords at the beginning, so we'll sort of combine them as well with the melody slash solo type part. So what have we got? We've got the B, this melody, 9, 8, 7, 8, does that twice. Then we're going to go into proggy land where they're going to have a bit of a key change, E flat major. So my third finger on the 8, doing a little 6-8 hammer pull-off thing. 8, 7, 8 on the G string, 6, 8, and we've got three little bends up to a half bend. And the second half is similar notes, but to make it easier to play, I'm going to jump to fret 12 for this G note instead of fret 8. And then 10, 12, 10, hammer on pull-off to the 8, all on the G string. Then we're going to go to 11 B flat, 10, 11, 12, and I initially thought this was bends, but it sounds like he's plucking these notes. 11s and 12s, backwards and forwards. Then we jump to G major, and there's a little G major arpeggio from fret 5 on the D string, diagonally across. 5, 4, 3 to a 7, with the B minor chord. And then we're going to do this little similar melody idea, but now over G, fret 7, 5, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 5, 6, hit the 7 on the B string, half bend, as it goes to C minor, a very cool sounding change there. Then we go back to G, and here, it does get a bit mushy, but I'm pretty sure it's something like this. I'm going to go just 5 Gs. Then we have this hybrid chord. The other, the other guitar is playing a D minor, the bass is playing an A. Here I'm going to do like an F power chord with an E string underneath it. That sort of sounds, it sounds all blended and interesting. Then this is where everyone goes to B flat with little tiny variations. B flat power chord and open A. This guitar sounds like this to me. The other one is very similar but he's chugging it a little bit more. Then the final bit we're going to go this is on top of the F-sharp minor power chord. It's basically, to me, it's a D major arpeggio and an A major arpeggio. And five, six, seven. Then the other guitar and the bass are playing G, but this one goes to a D, which sounds really cool. D chord over G. No! And then you're back to... So the song ends on the main riff from the start as well.
So now we're in the middle of the song, the prog rock section to me. So the rhythm guitar here is fairly simple. We're just going to strum most of these chords once. There will be a bit of sort of rhythm power chord chugging towards the end though. So the chords in the middle are B major, E minor, B major, E minor, E flat major, A flat minor, E flat major, a flat minor. Then it goes to a G. These are all bar chords, of course. G major. B minor. You can do it here. G again. C minor. G. D minor. And there's an A in the bass here. The bass is playing an A, but we'll just maybe play the D minor chord. Chuck the A in if you like. Then we get a bit more rhythmic here with a B flat power chord and an open A little riffy thing. This guitar part sounds like. That thing. And then we get to the final bit, F sharp power chord here. Another bar, one, two, three, four. And then we have just a big G chord. One, two, three. No! Then you're back to the post chorus, second half. Bit again. So the very, very final chord of the tune is a B power chord with an E, open E, and open B, and open E string. So sounding like this, it's like a E hybrid sort of thing. E with an F sharp, maybe. Subscribe to the Learning to Play the Guitar YouTube channel for more lessons, and don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. You can also check out my books and more lessons at my website learningtoplaytheguitar.net. Thanks for watching and keep practicing.